What do we have here? Fresh meat? Paige? It is Paige, right? I haven't seen you in a long while. That's because I get out of the way every time I see you coming, Ray. How did you get the guard to let you into the dome? I'd watch out. They're probably trying to recruit you. You wouldn't be the first to come here looking for shelter only to end up bowing down to Kalan. However you got in, you're going to find it even harder to get out. The clerics are a little jumpy at the moment. You might say paranoid. So when they do let someone in, it does make me wonder who they are and why the clerics thought letting them in was a good idea. If it's so hard to get in, what are you doing here? I got in before things got so paranoid. And I came here for profit, of course. Lots of nervous people close to the Albs tend to be willing to invest shards in their safety, you see. And getting hold of supplies is hard out here. So, if you can get them, you can sell them for a high price. Well, that was the plan. Now, the clerics have stopped me trading and cut off all the supplies. Where do you get your goods from? Mostly directly from Tavar. And that's the main problem. Seeing as the clerics have got picky about who comes in and goes out of here. It's impossible to get by the guards without an ID card. And they took mine from me as part of their crackdown. Now they say I'm causing trouble. But what else is a businesswoman supposed to do when she has her business taken from her? About your trade ban. Yeah, yeah, don't tell me. Trading weapons can pose a danger to the community. But this is about self-defense. The only person who can stop a person with a gun is a person with an even bigger gun. Am I right? I mean, what? Are we supposed to throw rocks at the Albs when they attack? But the clerics want to keep all the guns for themselves and screw the rest of us. They call it neutrality, but I say it's oppression. Sounds like you could use some help. Yes. Yes, I could. Still, let's say he's right. And that I could get a hold of supplies. Not from Tavar, obviously. They've blocked that route. Let's say I could get some weapons from the Separatists, for example. Let's say they have weapons and need shards. And that they also have the business acumen of a stunned troll. So they need a salesperson. Me, for example. What if I was to say that? And what if I was to say that I have to find someone who could enter and leave the city freely? If I was to say that, then what would you say? Do you really think you can trust the Separatists? I can't leave without profit. Hell, right now I can't eat without profit. So I need this deal. So if you blab, what have I lost? Nothing. And without any guns to show, it's just your word against mine. And even Alois isn't going to see that as justice. I could help you get your weapons. Good. Right. So, this is what you need to do. Leave the city and find a Separatist called Radok. I think he's a Separatist. But whatever he is, he's a mad fucker. I can't make sense of most of what he says. But he has the weapons and he likes trade. I think he likes trade. It's hard to tell. He wants to sell the weapons, but you'll have to work on him, okay? He won't just hand them over. Where can I find Radok? Up in the Highlands. When we last spoke, he told me he was going to head over to the Northeast. He mentioned an abandoned wind turbine. With luck, he'll still be out there.
easy. I'm watching you. Who's prowling around out there? Hey you, you don't have any broken energy weapons, chainswords, or anything like that? That sort of thing is my business. So if you find any, bring them to me. 
I'll give you good prices for them. Did you flee here from the desert? Flee? No. But to live in Tavar, you need shards. And despite my talents, I wasn't one of the Duke's favorites, and that made making a profit hard. What are your talents? Mechanical and engineering genius. I can make anything you need from bootlaces and glue. As long as I don't get constant interruptions. And staying undisturbed is hard in the Dome City. There's always someone trying to stick their nose in. And those berserkers are the worst for it. One of those assholes killed my friend for fun. Now that bastard is focused on me and nobody's helping me. Even though they know it'll be their turn next and keeping their head down won't save them. Who is this berserker that's giving you trouble? Braback. A bull of a man and twice as ugly. Bone-breaking bastard. About Braback. Where can I find Braback? He's usually near the inn. Just follow your nose. If it smells like piss, you found him. Leave Braback to me. You'll deal with him? That would be great, really great. You won't find me trying to put you off that. If you think you can scare him off so he leaves me alone, that would be good. Even if I do, I think ramming a knife into his guts would be a better approach. I would have tried that myself, but if I'd failed... But, but, but if you do get rid of him, however you do it, then I will pay you. Let's trade. Okay. So, you come here from Goliath? Goliath? No. I was exiled to the valley before I came here, but I hid myself in a crate and got brought up in the lift. You escaped in a crate? Yeah. Those idiots had no idea I was in there. I waited till they were busy with the next one, slipped out, and I was gone. You got lucky. That wasn't luck. That was pure skill. You were lucky. Yeah, well, maybe I got luck and skill, but what I haven't got is beer. Feel like one? Yeah, sure. Well then, follow me. What's happening in the city? Well, the domed city is a refuge for all. Outlaws, berserker, clerics, anyone who wants to be somewhere other than their homeland. Being away from home, you'd think they'd care less about what faction they were from. But for some reason, some of them have got even more fanatical. That makes keeping order difficult sometimes. The outlaws are the worst. They don't understand rules or sharing, or in some cases, that people have a right to stay alive. You don't seem to like outlaws. All people are welcome here. The Dome City is a refuge for all. But... That means all, not just outlaws. There's a half dozen outlaws hanging around outside the city at the old farm now. They just want to get in to cause trouble. I mean, we got everyone settled down and living together, and those outlaws? I just wish they'd disappear. You want the outlaws in the farm to die? Oh, oh, that's not what I said. I just want them to stop causing trouble for good. About the outlaws in the farm. You mean the threat on our doorstep? The canker in our midst? They who should disappear? Where are these outlaws? They've gathered east of here at an old farm, not far from the city walls. You can't miss them. If the price is right, I will take care of the outlaws. Are you sure you can handle this? 
Well, if you're willing to try, then I would be grateful if they'd vanish. I will have your reward ready when you come back. Oh, it'll be such a relief to know they're gone. But you need to prove you did it by... by bringing me their heads. You want their heads? By Kalan, what? No, uh, no, what am I supposed to do with their heads? No, no, I, I, I didn't... Just make sure that the outlaws disappear. And don't trade with them, or you can forget your reward. And no heads. Don't bring me any heads. They say that the Pilgrim Thorold has answers, but who knows? Ah, the gift and treasures of travel, for it brings new encounters. So what are you? Merchant? Bounty hunter? Or a nobody, like most people out there? I'm not in a faction. Well, guess you're one lonely son of a bitch then, aren't you? Here, before you start begging for help, consider it a gift from the Duke. You gave me enough that I can share. Keep your charity. It isn't smart to refuse a gift from the boss. You should learn to appreciate his generosity. How do people live here? Here, smoke one with me, before you start bombarding me with questions, yeah? I have the best stuff here. What do you have to offer? Troll dung? Rat scab? It's all first-class stuff. Snort it, smoke it, either way. I'll never forget the experience. Forget it. Well, that's your choice. From time to time, you need to open a door in your head and look inside, right? But if you won't, then all the more for me. That done, let's get into the real business. What business? Real business. A proper opportunity. You see, the clerics have had this city under their control for years. And the Duke thinks they're planning to take control everywhere, sooner or later. And he thinks the Dome City could be the starting point for their military campaign. So, my job is to find out if he's right. If there is something brewing that could be dangerous for us in Tavar. What information have you gathered about the clerics? Pretty much nothing so far. They've not been very loose-lipped around me. I must sort of stand out. So... You want me to be your spy? I want you to find out information. Now I can see in your eyes that you haven't fallen for the cleric's tricks. You aren't simple enough to believe every piece of troll shit you've fed. What do you expect from me? All that you have to do is get some answers out of somebody, and I've even got the guy lined up ready for you. His name is Lutz. He's one of Alois's technicians. As far as I know, He's trying to re-establish communications with the other clerics in Ignadon. While Alois will tell you the clerics here are neutral, separate from the ones in the Horde. Go and grill Lutz. Find out if there'll be an offensive soon. Do that, then come back to me as soon as you have any useful information. You know, helping the Duke out is probably a good idea. He gets kind of pissed when he finds out you didn't. How many shards are you talking about? 
Enough. The Duke is generous. I pay. That much you can be sure of. Why do you think that these technicians will know about the cleric's plans? Because he's the guy that maintains all the communications equipment. He must have heard something from the comms. And he's more likely to talk than anyone further up the chain. I want to know what he's heard. I need to know what he knows. Where can I find Lutz? If he's not on a call, then he's usually working maintenance on one of the generators. Just walk along the battlement path up at the top. It can't be far. What the fuck? Yes, Are you, you here to seek that. shelter or to cause problems? This area is a sanctuary for refugees. There's nothing here for reavers, recruiters, or troublemakers. I'm not a reaver. Then I hope that means you're here to help. What brought you out here? This is a place away from the war place people could make up their minds without being pressured to join one of the factions. If the people here wanted to join a faction, they would have. But some people aren't ready for that. Or they've been cast out. They have to go somewhere. So there's no faction in charge here? Well, the clerics keep order, but it's not like the Hort where entry means you have to join them. Here you can forget about factions. You're a berserker. Is a Dan trying to conquer a vessel? I don't answer to a damn. And these people belong to no faction. They belong only to themselves. I stand as their protector against anyone who would force them to do otherwise. My only connection to a damn is my magic. I wish it was more, but wishes don't make things so. Have you been exiled from Goliath? Exiled? No. There are those in Idan who want to use my magic for their own purposes. Ever since my power started to grow, they changed me. Their mana changed me, and that change just won't stop. I'm becoming stronger and stronger. It is terrifying. If that's true, why don't you use your power? I do, I have. But sometimes it overwhelms me. That's why I fight alone. If I lose control of a spell, there's a chance I could kill anyone and everyone around me. The Warlords wanted to test me. Try my powers, to harness them. Now I need to find a solution myself. But to do that, I need to study the properties of Elix, to learn more about it. Are you always so edgy? You know you wouldn't need to defuse things if you didn't get people wound up in the first place. Damn, this is like being back in Goliad all over again. I could use someone like you. Use? There's a word I've heard too much. Well, count me out. I'm not interested in being used. I could help you. What do you know of what I need? What do you know of how to help me? Elix marks people. Mana, chems, exposure from food tainted by it. It stays with people. You have its mark on you. You're different somehow. What is it about you? I took Elix in the past. Is that what you're seeing? Or is there something else? Took it? You were fed it. You were an Alb soldier. Well, it seems we have something in common. We've both been fed Elix in one form or another. It's changed us. And neither of us know what that means we are now. What do you think? My offer still stands. 
And what exactly is it that you're planning? I am going to end this war by taking the fight to the Alexiders. And I'm trying to put together a group skilled enough to win that fight. And you think I'll take part in this? In return, I will help your quest to find the Elix you're searching for. Then you can improve your magical abilities. You said yourself, the longer you are here, the more you fear your powers will overwhelm you. The longer you stay here, the more danger you put these people in. If you really want to protect them, you need to leave. Even if that's true, why should I leave with you? I was an elm. I know Elix, and I know magic. I know the impulses that follow you even during sleep. I know the nightmares and the problems of trying to control power that really wants to control you. And I know what it's like when all that is taken from you. We can help each other. And it's not like I have other options. Not in the long term. You're right. I'm hiding from it here. I need to get out there and find a real solution. I'll wait by the main gate. And we'll see if your actions can match your words. You should stock up here before we go. I will meet you by the gate. Just don't keep me waiting. Or you might find I change my mind. We're doing great. Someone's gonna sort this shit out before we drown in it. Yes, I'd heard things were rough there, too. Are you here to pay me those shards, Roman? Because I'm pissed at how long you take. I wonder if he was serious about that. 